What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice. I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder. Today's episode is going to be about how a lot of narcissists and toxic people will condition you to be afraid of them conditioning you to be afraid of them and things like that. And I know what people are going to say. What, simply put, they condition you over time by doing the same action over and over and over again to get you scared to talk, to get you scared to speak, to get you scared to react to them, to get you scared to voice your opinion, to get you scared to say to say what you really want to say. They condition you to be like you know to internalize everything and to handle it without them because you know if you know you know if you you've gotten to the point in this relationship dynamic and this doesn't have to be a boyfriend girlfriend husband wife dynamic this can be a parent you know parent a parent child dynamic brother sister friends co-worker dynamic whatever the dynamic is it's kind of unimportant but when you're dealing with a narcissistic person you get to the point where you're like they condition you to just you know you're scared of their reactions you don't want to talk because you know what's going to happen and this doesn't happen and this is not a one-time one incident type of thing this is over time but uh, this is over a continuous period of time because once you like narcissistic people the, the way typically they do this is by yelling at you screaming at you being dismissive giving you the silent treatment and things like that you get to the point where you are afraid of how they're going to react to what you are going to say to them especially if you're in the crazy thing about this a lot of times you're just trying to hold them accountable for something they have done to you for something they have actively done to you you're trying to hold them accountable and you're afraid of their reaction like, let's say you so yeah i know i always use the, the cheating thing but let's say you catch them cheating right and then you 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 ought to try to hold them accountable you're just like hey i need you to admit this and they just give you the silent treatment or they rage out on you because of how you found out they rage out on you and things like that so you get scared to even bring it up anymore you get scared to voice your opinion. And, that, and that's the, and so many people ask me, like, how do I know if I'm dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person? How do I, how, they won't, how do I go get, get, get them to get diagnosed? I'm like, you, you probably, chances are, <laughs> you probably won't get them to go get diagnosed right. But you can describe their behaviors to yourself to help you understand what you're going through and what you're possibly dealing with. If you are scared to voice your opinion, if you are scared to actually, you know, voice how you really feel about something, you might be dealing with a narcissistic person. What is the last time you, you were able to go have a conversation and have a, you know, have some actual conflict resolution with this person? Oh, never? Then you might be dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person. When have you been able to express your actual feelings to this person? Oh, never? Then you might be dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person. So many people get wrapped up in the labels and things like that and, and ignore, tend to, you know, kind of, you, you want the label, you want the title so bad, but they don't have to be diagnosed as a narcissist to be a horrible person, y'all. They, you, like I said, you know how you're being treated. You understand the behaviors that they are exhibiting towards you and that you are actively dealing with right now. You understand all of this. So if you like, if you find yourself in a situation or a relationship, even like I say, this could be with your mom or your dad as well. Well, you're scared to speak because you think like, if I, if I, if I go tell my mom this, I'm going to get in trouble. And this is not like something you have done. This like, this is not like you have gotten in trouble at school or something like that. This is just like you, you caught your mom drinking or your, your dad drinking or your mom smoking or your dad smoking or something like that. And you want, and they promised you today will stop. But you're afraid of their reaction. Like, if I go tell my mom this, they're gonna, she's going to yell at me. I'm going to tell my dad this, he's going to yell at me. And y'all, you know, the example, the analogies or whatever are not going to be you know, on point right now because I'm just not getting started. But, like, that's the way it goes. If you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person, so many people just want to understand what you're dealing with. How, you, how I'm going to deal with this. How I'm going to get past this. You know, How do I get them to understand? Because I know if I call them a narcissist to their face, they're going to go crazy. I mean, they're going to rage at me. They're going to put their hands on me. So, first of all, y'all. I'm just an ardent believer. If they if they put their hands on you, that they'll it, it tends to escalate and they'll do it again. And they, if it if it continues to escalate, they'll send you to meet your maker. They will li literally send you to meet God, y'all. Y'all be praying so much for y'all for God to bring healing into your life. They keep putting their hands on you. If they put their hands around you, around your throat or something like that, you won't have to pray anymore. You're gonna be face to face with God. So you can take your you can take your grievances face to face with God because you, if you stay in these toxic relationship dynamics, you know what I mean. Because the more you go back, the worse it gets. 
You know what I mean? You 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 want to you you just you beg and plead and you pray to find a way to help them understand it, a way to get you, a way to get you to um to get your opinion through. I just want to let them know that they're hurting me, and they they, they know, yeah, they know they are hurting you. But it gets to the point where they condition you to not speak up about it anymore. You tolerate it now. Like they get to the point where you 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 just your silence is compliance. And they like when you're silent about things and you like they can do something bad to you and they can automatically get away with it because you're scared to try to hold them accountable. They've conditioned you to be fearful of them. Like they, oh, if I do this, they're gonna hit me. If I do that, they're gonna yell at me. And things like that. You know what I mean? Especially if you grew up in a toxic household and something like that, you know how you know how it is with toxic parents that condition you to take to accept a lot of their toxic ass behaviors and things like that. You understand that, you mean? So many people get into these dynamics, get wrapped up in these dynamics, and it's hard. It, yeah, it's extremely hard to get out of these toxic relationships. It, it, it really, really is. Like I said, especially if they're conditioning you to take this terrible behavior. You know you've been conditioned. When like, you know you, you and this is how you know if you've been conditioned to not speak your mind, if you've been conditioned to you know be afraid of their reactions of how they're going to react to you. Just think about it. When is the last time are you able to go to your partner or your parent or whoever you're dealing with right now and actually express yourself to them without the fear of retribution? Without the actual threat of retribution? Without them backhanding you, without them yelling and screaming at you, without them giving you the silent treatment, without them packing their stuff up and leaving and going to the, the new supplies house. Uh, is it possible for you to go voice your opinion, for you to, to try to hold them accountable, for you to try to, to, to try to tell them you want to be treated better? Is there any of this possible? Because if not, then you might be in a toxic relationship dynamic where you're being conditioned to shut up. You're being conditioned to be quiet and take it. You know what I mean? Because that's how they, that's how they want you. If a narcissist, like, coming from the narcissist perspective, if they can get you to the point where you're conditioned not to speak, they have you. They feel like they have you wrapped up there. They feel like they got you. They have, their job is done. They don't have to do anything else. They got you conditioned not to speak. Cool. I don't have to say or do anything else to this person. You know what I mean? But Lee, how do we get, how do we get unconditioned? You have to, sometimes y'all, you have to separate yourself from the dynamic. If you, like I said, if you're scared to speak to them about something that you, uh, something dire in life, I hope you have a support system. Like in, in your life, you haven't been completely isolated from your support system because then you can speak to them first. Go talk to the people in your life about the situations. You know what I mean? Or just voice your opinion. They, the retribution is going to come. If it's not, if, if the retribution, like I'm just telling you, be, but be careful. Whatever decision you make, you have to be careful and things like that, y'all. You really, really do. You actually, you actually, actually do. So, anyways, y'all, I'm going to cut this thing short in one of my shorter episodes because I had to hop off of here real quick. Um, Live in-person workshop, Virginia Beach, Virginia, September 24th. Me and Ben Taylor are throwing that in Virginia Beach, Virginia, September 24th. Uh, the, the description is in my bio. Go to the description in my bio and whatnot. Check it out. Uh, get registered up. I think it's only like 11 spots left. It's, it's booking up. It's only 20 spots, y'all. Small, intimate gathering. October 15th, we're going to be in uh, Austin, Texas for a live in-person workshop, meet and greet type thing. And then in um, Toronto, Canada, November the 19th. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is up. Peace.